<laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. Man, if that's not one of the most insufferable people you've ever seen, then I don't know what to tell you, mate. Now, you see, you don't have to be the sharpest knife in the cupboard to recognize we're in a pretty great division here in the West and have entered a stage of renegotiations in regards to the typical arrangement and partnership that has formed and has been going on for over a century between Hollywood and us local big- Ah, uh, my bad. I mean, the audience, you know, the paying customers. And don't get me wrong, I, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, recognizes the dilemma. Imagine this, you, a local business person of many genders and or colors. You have a business. You're making millions of dollars. You're rolling in the money, the fame, the fortune. Life is great. The best part? Your local patrons. Satisfied to the bone from your glorious product, creating new adult babies thirsting for more, and taking out second mortgages and turning a blind eye to their wives' new boyfriends in order to add to their collection of Funko Pops. But something just isn't right. Yes, there's satisfaction. Both parties have been exceedingly accommodated. And of course, there is money. But that's when you hear it. That nagging voice you've been hearing from the corner of the club that's been echoing all night. It's becoming more and more clear. More women. And with that criticism, it's all hands on deck to get right to work. With you yourself immediately gutting your own foundation in order to cleanse yourself of your own misogyny and company bigotry. While frantically ushering in a new generation of young and middle-aged intellectuals with ideals that far surpass those of your own merit, and it's been about a decade since you've recognized your mistakes while repeatedly repenting for your damage of your sinful mindset. But of course, steps have been taken in order to show the masses that that course of action have no place in your space. So I think it's about time we look at a progress report and see how that's been going for your business, shall we? I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie. What? I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie. Yeah. What did you say? You bitch! I am here because I have to show my parents that I am their daughter and that they did not raise me to accept abuse from men. It's too late. Look at me. I'm such a dick. It's never too late to stop being a dick. But how are you gonna get through all of them? Don't worry. Girls get it done. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. Well, wait, wait. I'm speaking. the patriarchy is that like a personal attack or something we as women don't like pat ourselves on the back i said mom i am a rich man yeah. <laughs> how dare you <laughs> yeah. weird. 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 so we didn't do that this time cast a guy in the movie right. andrew burnup great dude all of andrew's scenes could get cut who knows it's hollywood baby it's hollywood baby it's hollywood ba yep everything looks good to me carry on lads even better, I'll have two more entries on the double in order to make sure we close out 2023 on our strongest note ever. Enter in everybody's favorite, Brie Larson in the hijacked Captain Marvel 2 with the Marvels, fresh and ripe for consumption after many, many delays in search of perfection. And of course, permanent noise complaint Rachel Zegler and her, uh, mmm interesting take on the classic character of Snow White that we know only her most dedicated of fans, the Zegler Warriors, if you will. 
are gearing up and ready to purchase 25 tickets each in order to prove those cheeky naysayers that profitability can be achieved with a little hard work, camaraderie, solidarity, and pawning off your grandmother's jewelry. But for now, what we have on the menu is a ballad of songbirds and snakes, a movie that I'm sure most of you found out existed about a week ago from a popular YouTuber or TikTok. Maybe it'll jog your memory if I just say the Hunger Games prequel. I remember when I was doing Hunger Games. <laughs> Point is, what we have here are two very differentiating movies facing a very similar problem. So let's talk about it. Okay, so setting the actor aside for a moment. No, Rachel, go away. <sighs> Again, setting the actor aside for a second, there's no doubt the biggest uphill battle that these two heroic and charming female-led movies face is, well, the success of the heroic and charming female-led movies that came before. In the case of Disney's own annoying smoke detector, no matter your own personal feelings or interests now in The Hunger Games from the yesteryears, there's absolutely no denying that the four films were a triumph and a renowned box office success. With the franchise as a whole breaking in close to $3 billion total on a $600 million budget of four movies. Shit, mate, when you really think about it, cut that budget in half and you got yourself Indiana Jones and the Dial of Dipshit in The Flash. Save me. And no matter how bad Jennifer Lawrence wants to badmouth the franchise that put her on the map, the fact of the matter is, is that The Hunger Games made Jennifer Lawrence a household name and gave her the ability and the accessibility to, no, not hone in her talents or perfect her craft, you silly goose, but to go on and rather have a successful career by being mid but hot. The Hollywood dream. It's Hollywood, baby. And while Rachel Zegler decided to take that aspect of promotion into her own hands, let's see what those box office projections are looking like. Oh. Well, that's all right. Brie Larson and her team of culturally diverse female-led superheroes should correct that mistake and put the ship back on course. Oh. You see, what you have here is a classic clash of power between the supply and the demand, the studio executives, and the audience in which they choose to pander to. Look no further than Marvel Studios, a once could do no wrong studios with a monopoly ownership over the superhero genre, with the additional benefit of some gems from other studios along the way. I touched on it more in one of my past videos where I highlighted how the first Avengers unknowingly became the very foundation of the collapsing empire we're witnessing today. But there's no doubt that the Marvel's completion of the Infinity Saga will go down as one of, if not the greatest cinematic achievement of all time. And while Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, the stands, and the creative team behind this train wreck were the main beneficiaries of the Infinity Saga, unfortunately, but fortunately, depending on the side of the table that you sit on. There's no being sandwiched in between two of the most successful films of all time to fall back on this time around. Marvel and Disney are forced to stand on their own two feet and take this one on the chin as they stare into the future of their own inevitably doomed character in a sequel that they set up. A sequel they allowed to be hijacked by an even less interesting character and a character who allowed Wanda to roam free after enslaving an entire town, then proceeding to basically purge the world of sorcerers, hunt down a miner, and obliterate an entire universe's Avengers, leaving them defenseless. Fuck. Good one, Kevin. At the end of the day, I can't legitimately say how unsuccessful or mid these two films are going to be. I will say that I think the Hunger Games prequel definitely has a better chance, at least to keep their head afloat, but the table has already been set meticulously laid out for years by Hollywood studios at the expense of the audience, the consumer, the paying customer. And now that dinner's ready to be served, 
but no one wants a bite of the meal. And having that annoying walkie-talkie or an unrelatable plank as your master chefs isn't going to help your cause. The way I see it, November is shaping up to be a content creator's Thanksgiving. And I can't wait to share and be a part of that glorious, glorious feast. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I don't know. Are you guys planning on seeing the Marvels or the Hunger Games prequel? As Rachel Zegler turned you off, not only as Snow White, but just her? I don't know. It's hard for me to say, but let me know in the comments below. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. But otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.